So welcome to Simply Fitness. So what is fitness? Some people come in and they think weight loss is fitness. It's not. And if that's your goal, then you should follow Simply Slim and not this program. Other people think, well, it's running up and down stairs without feeling out of breath. And that's part of it. But there's more to general fitness than that. It's about your strength, your muscle strength, your bone strength and density. About your stamina, so how well your heart and lungs function to allow you to, for instance, go for a run without feeling as out of breath. How to improve your levels of energy and vitality. It's all to do with fitness. Exercise is all about movement. Whether it's running on a treadmill, working out in a class, or on a bike, or in the gym in general. And you perform movement by contracting and relaxing muscle. And the engine that drives that is your cardiovascular system, your heart and your lungs. So aerobic fitness is all about improving your heart and lung efficiency, your cardiovascular fitness levels. Being more fit can mean that you can go for a run, for instance, that you can play with your kids without feeling as out of breath, being able to run up a flight of stairs without feeling as out of breath. It improves your vitality and your energy, making you feel younger, improves your health, and it's not just for grown-ups, it's for children too. So how fit are you now? Well, you can look in the mirror, you can measure yourself with a tape or weighing scales or some device. You can judge how fit you are in the gym. Can you run up and down the stairs? Are you flexible? There are loads of ways to measure. But if you want to assess your aerobic fitness levels, then what you're trying to find out is how well do your heart and lungs work to oxygenate your blood. And how well you oxygenate your blood determines how much energy you have when you're exercising vigorously over a period of time. The measure of that is your VO2 max. And there are a number of tests that will allow you to work this out. One is a 12 minute run test where you run as fast and for as long as you can for 12 minutes. And you then look at the distance that you traveled in that time and then you can compare yourself to other people, the same age, the same sex, to work out how fit you are. You can even perform a calculation that puts the distance that you travel into a formula to give your VO2 max number. But you compare yourself against the norms. So heart rate and aerobic fitness. In order to improve your aerobic fitness, you need to work out for 15 minutes or more at 70 to 80% of your maximum heart rate. Quite vigorous exercise for a prolonged period of time. And that's a higher heart rate than you would work out if you're trying to burn fat. So how do you work that out? Well, your maximum heart rate is calculated as 220 beats per minute minus your age in years. So if you take a 40 year old, 220 minus 40 is 180 beats per minute. So your target range exercise to improve your cardiovascular fitness is to work out at a heart rate of between 126 beats per minute and 144 beats per minute. So how do you work that out? Well, you can buy a heart rate monitor and watch in Argos for 30 euros, or most exercise machines will have an inbuilt heart rate monitor, or you'll just know by how tired you are. So increasing your fitness. What's your specific fitness goal? If it's general fitness, like cross fitness, or whether it's elite fitness, like a, to be able to run a 10k or a half marathon, or perform for an event like a triathlon, or whether sports specific, like a strength goal or a cardio goal, Simply Fitness is the workout program for you. A great way of improving your general fitness is to perform circuits. So circuits of exercises, one exercise after the other, each performed to the best of your ability, but without resting between the exercises to improve your fitness. Circuits can improve your fitness levels, your level of tone, and can burn fat at the same time which is why circuits are so popular in classes, in personal training. And we've got our own circuit called Tent to Tone. So the Tent to Tone program is an all over body workout. You'll work out to failure with each exercise and we'll explain what that is. You'll minimize rest to get the cardio benefit and you'll repeat the circuit twice in 13 minutes to keep your fitness levels up. It's all about resistance, repetition and rate. So when it comes to resistance, you want to use the maximum amount of resistance you can that will allow you to perform 20 repetitions of each exercise and no more. If you can perform 21, 22, then keep going, but increase the resistance the next time. And you want to move from one exercise to the other with minimal rest in order to keep your heart rate up and improve your cardiovascular fitness. The first exercise is the chest press. Anytime you contract your chest muscles, it allows you to push your arms out and away from your body. That's how this exercise works and you perform it on the chest press machine. But you can also perform this exercise lying down on a bench and pushing a weight away from your body, whether it be a barbell or a dumbbell, or by performing push-ups against gravity. We will show you different ways of performing each one of these exercises to allow you to understand when you see people performing different exercises in the gym that you know what muscles they're targeting. And also to show you that you can create variety in your workouts by simply changing the exercises that you include in your workout. We want you to become independent exercisers and to get to a point where you're creating your own programs and that's why we will show you alternatives for all these exercises. We've put all these exercises up as video tutorials, over 60 of them on our website for you to download and access. And we're here as fitness instructors to show you how to perform each and every single one of those exercises if you decide to include any of them in your own workout program.
The second exercise is the bicep curl. Bicep is attached to your upper arm and lower arm and when you contract it, it brings your arm up. We perform this exercise against resistance to tone the bicep. You can also do this with resistance bands or dumbbells standing or seated. Exercise three is the leg press. By pushing a weight away from your body, you exercise your glutes and your quadriceps. You can perform the same movement using the squat exercise or through step ups or lunges. Exercise number four focuses on the front of your shoulders or your deltoid muscles. As you contract them, they push your arms forward. You're gonna do this against resistance on the shoulder press machine. You can also perform this exercise with dumbbells seated, with resistance bands, or you can combine it with the squat for an additional challenge. Exercise number five targets your abdominals or your stomach muscles. You can perform this exercise using the ab roller, the stomach crunch. You can also perform crunches using a Swiss ball or on the floor. We can target the lower abdominal muscles using knee raises against a bench or a knee raise machine. Exercise six then is for your back. When you squeeze the muscles of your back, it pulls your arm backwards. A wide grip exercise like this targets the rhomboid muscles underneath the shoulder blades. You can target the same muscles performing pull-ups or rows or bent over rows using a barbell, again with a wide grip. If you want to target the muscles at the side of your back, the lats, then perform the same exercises with a close grip. Exercise seven is a leg extension targeting the quadriceps. Exercise number eight is for the bingo wings or triceps. They're the antagonistic muscle to the bicep. As you straighten your arms, you work your triceps. So to straighten your arms against resistance, will tone the tricep. You can do this using the cable machine or using dumbbells or barbells or with dip exercises. And there are video tutorials of all these exercises on My Simply Fitness. Exercise number nine targets the side of your shoulders or the side deltoids. They allow you to bring your arms up either side and we perform this exercise again with resistance. You can do the same with resistant bands or by leaning forward and pulling your arms back behind yourself, you can target the rear deltoids or shoulder muscles. The last exercise in tent tone is the leg curl. It targets the hamstrings at the back of your legs. You can also target your hamstrings when you step down into a squat or a lunge. Let's talk about the induction. The induction can be limited because you're trying to get your head around the gym, where the lockers, where the toilets, let alone what are these new exercises. Within a couple of weeks, you're going to be better at performing each of the exercises and you'll be stronger. And the resistance that we've given you at the start may not be challenging enough. So you have to increase the resistance and always work to failure, to exhaust those muscles if you're going to get a result. So as a rule of thumb, as soon as you can perform the target number of repetitions, increase the weight. So you should never be able to get that 20 rep. If you can, then do it because you've got to work to failure. But remember, the next time, increase the resistance level. If you have any question about whether you're performing an exercise safely or effectively in this way, please ask us anytime. So during the induction, we put you in the driving seat. We don't want you to be a passenger because if you are, you won't remember anything. So in order to give you a sense of what it's actually going to be like to work out for yourself, we get you to perform the exercises. Some of the exercises to failure, we show you the pace and rate at which you should work in order to get that cardio benefit. And we make ourselves available to you for follow-up and to answer any of your questions. But we want you to take the lead. We want to get you to a point where you can create your own circuits. All we've done with this tent tone program is giving you a structure. But as you can see, there are many different exercises you can perform to target the same muscles. We want to see you try new exercises. And we've put a lot of resources, including video tutorials of 60 different exercises up on My Simply Fitness. And we want to see you accessing them and studying them. And we're here to help you then perform those exercises and create your own workouts. Because when you create your own workout, you have ownership for it. It increases your motivation and the effort that you put in maximizes the result that you'll get out. We want to see you become the expert, so we've put up these video tutorials. If you're training for elite or event fitness, for instance, endurance fitness, then you want to build a base. You want to increase your pace and duration, probably use the 10% rule, which is to either increase your pace or the distance you're traveling by just 10% each week to improve your levels of fitness. If you want to build to a 5K run, for instance, you might start with a 2K walk, graduate to an on-off jog over two kilometers to get to a point where you can jog for 2K and then move it up to 3K, 4K, 5K, etc. until you're able to run for five kilometers. And you can download a 5K, 10K, beginner's marathon and triathlon programs here on My Simply Fitness.